Hey folks, how are you doing? Now, in this chapter, number six, Advanced Tutorials, we're going to talk about changing from a fixed to a flexible layout. Your template includes what we call a flexible CSS, a flexible style sheet, which allows the content in the page to stretch to 100% of the screen width, which in certain cases may be very uh, advantageous, it may be very helpful. I've put this in here simply upon request from the customers. If it were my choice, I wouldn't include it, to be honest with you. The reason being is a lot of times when you put something into a flexible layout, something that goes the full screen width, you may not be considering the implications it would have on a tablet or a mobile device. Uh, using the fixed layout of 960 pixels that we use for all of the standard layouts in the template, at least we can guarantee that whatever we fit in there, as long as it fits in the page nicely, will work on different devices or pretty much across every device that's commonly used today. Uh, when using a, um, I've seen a lot of or sorry, flexible layouts that have very large pictures or, or tables put in the center that render fairly well on large desktop monitors, but when you're looking at it on an iPad or a mobile device, they don't, you have to scroll to see the whole thing. You have to scroll left to right and it doesn't look very good. So with that said, I'll show you how to make any page or flip it over to a flexible layout. And that is um, just open your page up, go to the code view, find the styles area. Okay, and copy, for example, the uh, um, any link that you see right here. Just in the code view, just copy, and at the very end of it all, paste it. Then what I want you to do is go into the Site Styles and Miscellaneous folder, Site Styles, and you want you to find the uh, full screen layout right here. Right click and select Properties. Let's see if I can get this into view a little bit better here properties there we go see the site styles miscellaneous full screen copy that whole line right there and then down here for the link that you've copied in earlier just paste it there are other ways of doing it i i like to keep my styles all listed together here that's why i'm showing you how to do it in code view you could alternately just go to the uh, format css attach uh, style sheet and go and browse but it could stick it anywhere in the page and then you may not uh, be able to easily find it uh, later on when you need to, if you need to remove it. Uh, this method here is just a way of keeping everything together as opposed to using the uh, embed option which could put it uh, anywhere lower down on the page and you'd be hunting around for it, looking for it.